you guys are having a absolutely wonderful, wonderful Monday. Um, for me, it has been okay. It's, um, the weather's not too bad here. Um, it's starting to get a little bit cloudy and icky right now, but it's been really nice. Um, the past couple days we've had like beautiful weather. Um, and yeah, I have very much enjoyed going out on the patio and sitting there and like just sitting and soaking up the sun. Um, getting outside, getting that fresh air. So today we are going to talk just a little bit about wax. Um, because I've had a lot of questions, um, from you guys asking what I use, what I've tried, and what I like. So, um, I'm going to give you the quick rundown and then I'll tell you what I use now and what I like best and all that stuff. So, of course, you have your pink wax, your very basic wax. Um, I don't have any right now because I don't keep them. Um, I don't use them and so I do not have them. Um, <clears throat> so we'll move on from that one because I honestly, if that's all you have and that's all you can use, fine, use it, good, more power to you. Um, if, and if you like it and it works for you, do it. You know what I'm saying? Like whatever, whatever, this is all about whatever works for you because there are so many different types of waxes out there and so many different opinions about them. Like certain people are like, oh, I love this. I would like, you know, only use this that I've made. Other people are like, I don't like that at all. And then there's people the opposite, like, oh, I love this one. Oh, I don't like that one. You know, so it, it's all about like what works for you. Um, hold on, what's that little steepy sip? So it's all about what works for you. Because this is your experience, your diamond painting. It should be relaxing and enjoyable and if you're not enjoying it then you know what kind of hobby is it for real so I say go with what you like and every diamond paint is any every diamond painter is different some people put a lot of pressure some people barely touch it um and that will also depend on the type of wax that works best for you so we have your basic pink wax and then we have your blue and your white I kind of look at it as like the pink is like, eh, and then this is like, okay, and then this is like much better, okay? So that is my opinion. For some reason though, I like the blue wax in my multi-placer. Can you guys see it? Okay, um, because I don't know why, I just, I just do. Um, now, granted, I would rather have a different kind of wax that I'm going to go to in a second, but I'm out of it right now, so I am using the blue wax. Have I used the white wax and liked it just as much? Eh, yeah, pretty much, but I like the blue because I can see it, so I know, you know, where it's at and making sure that the edges are full and all that good stuff. So that is why I like the blue wax better for my multi-placer. Um, so those are your basic waxes that you can just buy. There are other colors. I don't know if the other colors are different or what. Like, I have never tried any other colors because I didn't feel the need to. Um, after that, I tried Patty Wax. The first one, which I don't have out here, actually. The first one, I didn't like it. It didn't work for me. I did everything like that she said to do. I still, no, did not like it one bit. Then I went to try the other one, the newer one, the one that's like the letters I can never remember. It's like super sticky something. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, I'll, I'll make sure to like put it, you know, in here. So, um, anyways, so that, that is this. And I, I actually do like this for my single placer. I do not like it for my multi-placer. The beads or the drills, I mean, do not want to let go of it. So you're sitting there fighting it like, come on. Um, and that's not, that's, honestly, it's not fun. You want, you want it to pick up the drills, but you also want it to let go of the drills when you want it to. So like this in the multi-placer, no, uh, didn't like it. Single placer, yes, it worked just fine. Um, and I liked it, but it only lasted me about a half hour to an hour before I noticed that it was like not working as good and you know shortly thereafter I would have to put new wax in so I would go through more. Um the other one that I want to mention that I am the one that I said I'm out of and I like it in my multi-placer the best is Not Your Mama's Mud by Beth Mitten. 
Um, she has a store, and I believe it's called Whimsical Daisy. Um, I will try to remember to link it in the description below. She makes a wax that is similar to like the the pink, blue, and white wax consistency almost, but it lasts way longer than those. Um, and I'm out of it. She makes them where they have scents, and some of the smells are so good. Um, but I always get unscented because I get really bad headaches really easily from smells like perfumes and stuff. So I always just order the non-scented one. Um, and it works really well. I need to get in touch with her actually to get me some more of, of that Not Your Mama's Mood for my multiplacer. Um, going to what I tried after that, which, um was the um it, i don't remember what it uh, what the brand is it's blue tack i will put a picture of the brand here somewhere um but this is it and basically it is just like sticky you know what you put your um when you were a kid and you wanted to put like pictures of your friends or posters or whatever on your wall and you you would have that sticky that sticky dough tack stuff that's what it is so this um is what i used in my single placer for quite a while and yes i do like it um there are things i don't like about it like it, sometimes it can get stringy um sometimes it can leave little you know boogies what we call them on our drills um and it doesn't last for more than a couple sessions of diamond painting but at least it lasts that long you know for me that's a that's a good amount of time so i was really happy with this um and then came around for me like the i'm gonna, I'm gonna come in and a deal closer because i want to show you what i'm gonna do here this one was like the holy grail of what i wanted to use for diamond painting for my single placer um, I know so many of us out there have discovered this and it is awesome. Now, when I first ordered it, I ordered it from Walmart and I, they only had the bigger size. I thought, okay, no big deal. I will use less or I will cut it. That did not work so well. Um, it really just, it, it was an epic fail. So I decided, okay, um, because at this point I wasn't allowed to go to the store. So, um, I... I ordered it on Amazon and it is, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it is micro dots. Okay. These are used in a ton of different things. Um, I used to use them in my scrapbooking and they are amazing. Like so amazing. I literally can go like a couple weeks, if not more, without having to change what is in here which is just like mind boggling because I've never had that before, ever, ever, ever. And so when I tried it, I was like, yes. And it gives you that like, you know that, let me see if I can, that sound, mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about, that ASMR like, ooh, ooh yeah. It's just a very satisfying sound. And most of us diamond painters love it. And it, this is like amazing for that. Like I, I absolutely love it. So um, I've also had questions on like how to use it. And I'm going to show you that right now. It's actually very, very simple. Very simple. Now, I'm sorry that my camera wiggles a little bit. It's just what it is right now until I get my normal setup. Um, back, um, yeah. So, right now I have some in here and it has been in there for a good while. So, I'm fine with, you know, pulling it out and changing it. Now, some people told me that their magic number was three. Um, my magic number is two. So, let's see if my... There we go. Can you see that little, that little bit right there? Not very much. Just a tiny little, little bit. Um, but 
I like two because if I did more than that, it kind of spilled over. And then I found it annoying because it sometimes wouldn't let the drills go or it would hit the ones next to it. But your magic number might be three. Who knows? Like everybody is different on how they diamond paint. So it comes on this roll like this. And basically, I just find it. So let's see if my camera will focus. Can you see it? So there's one, and then I just pull out another one until I get to it, which is right here, okay? So then what I do is I just tear it off. And I usually put a clip on this so it doesn't unwind and put it away because I lost it one time, guys, and that is not something you wanna lose when you um, have fallen in love with, with wax, um, with this, not wax, but you know, the sticky stuff. Okay. I'm just getting in nice and close so you can really see what I'm doing. Um, so basically you pick up your tweezers, these ones, this nice sharp tweezers, and you want to pick it up off of the paper like a so, so that it's just in the end of your tweezers. Okay. Then you just take your pen and you just put it in your pen, just like this. Sorry, I just bumped my camera. Gave it a little bonk bonk. Okay, so I shove this in as far as it will go. So there it is. Okay, that's in there. So now we're gonna go get our second one. Off of the paper. We'll see if you guys can, if my camera can uh, see it. I'm loving my new camera, by the way. Like, look at that. You can actually see everything. Um, okay, this one had a little hair on it. I don't want that in there. No, no, no hair. Can I get the hair off? Or am I going to just need a new glue dot? Yep, I'm going to need a new one because there was a hair stuck in there. Um, one of my little doggy hairs. And, um, no, I don't want a hair sticking out of my pen because that will annoy the crap out of me. So... Okay. I'm just enjoying my, my camera and the fact that like it picks up so much. Um, so then again, you just take it. Okay. And you put it in the tip of your pen. Then you just close your tweezers and just kind of work it down in there. Okay. And once it is all down in there, you are literally ready to go. So, let's see if you can see that. Camera focus on what I need to do. There you go. You can see that pretty good, okay? So, um, I don't know. I could probably get you maybe a little closer. I'm not sure. Let's see. Come on. Come on, camera. I know you can do it, camera focus. Focus. There we go. Look at that. Okay. So it's now ready to go. Like that's it, you guys. Um, I know sometimes using something new can be really intimidating. And so you kind of worry like, oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to, you know, um, I don't know how to put it in my pen. I don't want to mess it up, all that stuff. But you, you really won't. I mean, it's pretty straightforward and I don't know. It's pretty straightforward. Like, I really don't know how you could mess it up, to be honest. I'm just going to cut here a little section. So I can just kind of show y'all how it works. Uh, I have some of the cutters coming, by the way, that help you cut the paper and stuff. The really nice cutters. Um, I, bought, I bought one for myself, and I bought them for the shop, too. Because I figured... You know, if I'm using them, other people might want them too. So, boy, I am running low on the plaques right now. Like, wee. Okay. We'll just go down a little bit. There we go. There we go. Um, and I will show you. So, you just pick it up. Pop. And then you put it down like that. You get that nice, satisfying pop. Um, it doesn't... If you, like... Um... If you push this really hard ugh, like that onto your pen and then you go to put it on the paper, it might not stick. Okay? See? 
But, I mean, come on. Don't push so hard. You don't need to get it so stuck on your pen that it's not going to be able to go anywhere. Um, you just want to pick it up. So don't push super hard when you pick it up. And then it, it just, it transfers so easily. Um, I get all these people who say I'm a hard presser. I am too. Um, and once you put it on your canvas, then, you know, you can push it down. Um, that's where I am more of a hard presser is when I'm putting it on my canvas. When I'm picking it up, however, I've, I've never been one that like, you know, pushes it down as far as I can or as hard as I can. And if you are, then yeah, you're going to need to kind of adjust that, um, how you're doing that if you're going to want to use these because they are so good at, um, uh, picking them up and holding on to them. So, but it's, it's really worth it. Uh, I promise like they're so cheap too. You can get them at craft stores. You can get them, um, Amazon. Um, I've been told you can get them at Walmart, but I wasn't going to Walmart. I was doing like the online thing and my, um, it didn't have them on my little availability, uh, list. So that's why, um, uh, I bought them from Amazon, but they weren't, you know, they weren't expensive at all. And they, like I said, they last forever. I mean, it's crazy how long that they last. It really, really is. Um, it, it blew me away. It surprised the heck out of me that they, you know, I was going to, I was thinking, okay, yeah, this will be one of the other ones that everybody else says is so great. And I'm like, really guys, like, it's not that great. But I was proven wrong. Like I was, I was proven wrong. And it was so funny because Brandy was like, she knew I had got them. By the way, Brandy is mystery of diamonds, if you did not know. Um, and if, like, she, she used them, right? And she loved them. And she knew that I had got mine. So she kept asking, she's like, have you tried them yet? Have you tried them yet? Like, what do you think? And I was like, not yet. And I was trying to think, like, how can I, how am I going to tell her they probably, they don't work for me without, like, you know, letting her down because she's so excited about it. Um, and that's like what was going through my mind. And then I tried them and oh my gosh, like I, yeah, I texted her so fast. I was like, these are amazing. Um, you know, and then I was like, but we'll see how long it lasts. And my first one, I actually like, like I watched how long they lasted on my calendar and they lasted two and a half weeks before I started noticing a difference um, in how it was picking up. And so I decided, hey, uh, it's been quite a while. I'll just put new stuff in there. Um, and then that lasted another couple weeks before I just put it in now. So it really, really does last a long time. And I highly recommend it. If you want to stick with like an actual wax though, um, definitely the white or the blue is much preferred over the pink. And also, um, Not Your Mama's Mud is definitely more of that wax um, uh, consistency feel. And it works, it works really well as well. So, um, Maddie made a wax and then she ran out of a material. I forgot to buy it. And I don't know if she's, if she's still interested or if she's lost interest. But, uh, we'll see. Um... Another little tip that I will say is if your pen gets stuck, to, like if your drill is stuck on the pen, um, something I've noticed and, and it's really helped is like when you put it down on your paper, if you pull your pen up just really, really slowly, it usually lets it go. Like, um, not always, but like I would say 95% of the time it lets it go. Um, which is pretty good. So anyways, that's really all I have to say about waxes and, and all of this stuff. Um, I hope it was helpful. And if you have any questions about any of this products that you've seen here, um, please feel free to leave it in the comments. I will try to link all of this stuff in the comments as well. I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Don't forget you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. 
and you are definitely loved more than you know. With that, keep on shining. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching, and if you haven't already and would like to subscribe, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and the bell icon so you can be notified anytime I put up a new video. You are braver than you believe, smarter than you think. I hope you have a beautiful day. Don't forget, you are braver than you think, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. Is that it? Why no. is my brain? But my brain's not going. Okay. Let's try this again. <laughs>